That's not healthy. Power Supply shouldn't be doing that. Here, have a gander again at the sound. <laughs> I almost plugged this into my iPhone 7. What a joke, right? Let me go get my converter. And... Sounds good? Hey, what's up everyone? Just me in my garage. Got my Lamborghinis, my Ferrari. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to be Ty Lopez. I wanted to show you just a sneak peek of what to expect with Walter White 2.0. I don't have a lot of time. Uh, I've had I've been slammed with early tests this week, and uh, you know school comes first. Now I want to go over the specs very quickly. If you want more detail about the computer, you can check out the card right there. Uh, but we are running a 6900K i7 from Intel. That's a effectively thousand dollar processor. We're looking at eight cores, 16 threads, overclocked currently to 4.0. 3 gigahertz at 1.36 volts. I didn't really tinker with the voltage very much. I probably could have uh, downed it a little more, but I, I'm, it's stable right now and the core temps aren't reaching 70 degrees Celsius, so I'd call that a success for now. Uh, on top of that, we have two GTX 1070s from EVGA and SLI painted custom white, of course. So right now I am obviously running the Redox mod. That's why it looks a little different. I think it looks better in my opinion. And yes, I am playing online, so if I get banned, you know, whatever, so be it. I'll just start from scratch again. I really only play GTA 5 uh, for the sake of benchmarking at this point. I used to play it a lot, but I found that I, I'm more interested in first person shooters now. Maybe get into some Battlefield 1 later. So uh, frame rates, that's what I wanted to talk about first. What you're looking at right now is literally a maxed out with some weird artifact thing. Look at that. Look at the grass. That's strange. That's likely a result of the, uh, the modification. That's not a vanilla issue. So it's raining. That kind of sucks because you can't really see the cool lighting effects. But in settings, we have here graphics at pretty much max. I mean, they are max. Uh, MSAA times 8 VSync. I have VSync on because I want it to look fluid for you guys, but uh, frame rates will go well over 60 here. I'm going to overclock to 75 probably in the next video when I do my uh, benchmarking. I will benchmark an ultra wide 1080p as well as 1440p. I'm staying away from 4K for now. I want a good 4K monitor before I do that. I don't want to do upscaling or anything of that sort. So very high all the way through. Ultra times 8 anti-aliasing for reflections and just in general. Uh, water quality, all the good stuff. You can see literally it's maxed out. I have depth of field effects turned off because that just looks like garbage in my opinion and motion blur off because that looks like garbage in my opinion and uh, everything else is good to go. Ambient occlusion, yep, that's max. Okay, so you can see that's maxed out. We're pushing nine gigabytes of video memory. And then advanced tabs, long shadows on, high resolution shadows on, high detail streaming while flying on, extended distance scaling on, extended shadow distance on, frame scaling mode. Now this will kind of sort of simulate a higher resolution display. Obviously you can't change the pixel density or the pixel dimensions of your monitor, but it will in some cases make things look a bit more crisp. I have anti-aliasing on at times eight, so I'm not even gonna bother touching that because it already looks beautiful. Now this is probably as clean a GTA 5 video as you will find on YouTube in, in 1080p. And that is thanks to Walter White version 2.0 uh, pushing us well against that 60 FPS boundary. So the, this is just kind of a sneak peek of what you should expect with Walter White version 2.0. Obviously, a very expensive computer, and uh, as a result, you're, you're, I mean, you're going to get some of the best performance out there, at least in these resolutions here. I think the only thing that you could probably do better in a build like this is to swap out the two 1070s with two 1080s, uh, and in that case, you could probably get these same frame rates in 4K versus 1080p ultra wide. Look at that detail. Look at the road. My oh my. Now, uh, something that's interesting, my frame rate just dropped to 45. 50 now, 55. I think the reflections are really killing the frame rates there. Uh, now, a lot of this has to do with the fact that story mode implements more of the mod than, than online mode does, so we're seeing uh, a greater degree of texture detail, uh, different special effects, things of that sort that are in story mode but that aren't in online mode, which is why our frame rate, I presume, is lower here. But uh, still, I'd say for maxing literally everything out, including advanced settings, around 50 frames per second is pretty darn good in ultra wide 1080p. Card's getting really hot. I don't know what that's about. I'm gonna keep filming because I don't know what's happening. Here, I'll do you a favor. This is how loud I sound with the microphone, you know, half a foot from my face.
That's loud. That's louder than in-game volume uh, by, a, by a long shot. Um, I just realized something. That sound you're hearing is not coming from the graphics cards. I think that's coming from the power supply. So what's likely happening is that 6900K is just pulling so much power from the PSU that those rails are heating up and, well, rail, I think it's a single 12 volt rail, and it's just getting too hot, so the fan curve is kicking in and it's just, sounds like it's just going full blast. Wow, Walter White is upset. That doesn't sound good, and I think that means I'm gonna have to replace my power supply, which sucks, but that's not healthy. Power supply shouldn't be doing that. Here, have a gander again at the sound. It's definitely not the GPUs, because the GPUs I turned, the, those fans I turned off at one point, and I could still hear it. It's not that fan I calibrated it. It's not that fan I calibrated it. You can actually see the blades turning. Those are probably turning at 800 or 900 RPM. It's not the, the radiator fans because uh, those I, I, those have a distinct sound, so I know it's not coming from, from there. The only other fan in the system is the power supply fan. And I assume that because we have our 6900K overclocked and it's being used uh, fairly significantly in GTA 5, which is known to do that, it's a great utilizer of both CPU and GPU horsepower, I am assuming that the 6900K is just pulling a lot of juice. I'm expecting anywhere from 250 to 300 watts, maybe more. Overclockable Broadwell E-chips are notorious for just straight stealing juice from the power supply when under load. I expect that's what's going on here and just the, the, the rail inside the power supply is getting way too hot. Well, that is unfortunate. I'm glad I found that out sooner rather than later, though. We all kind of found that out at the same time, right? We heard that all at the same time. So I think what that means is I'm going to have to replace my power supply. I think that's the safest bet. This is an 80-plus gold-rated power supply from Deepcool, but the gold rating really has nothing to do with the actual reliability of the power supply. It's just a, an efficiency rating. So under X amount of load, your PSU is going to be X efficient, X percentage efficient. Uh, that's, that's what the 80 plus ratings mean. But it has nothing to do with reliability and PSU longevity. So I guess I'm going to contact Deepcool, let them know what's going on with this particular unit here, ask if that's a normal thing or not, and begin the hunt for another power supply. More money in the drain. This is Science Studio. Thanks for learning with us. Give me a thumbs up if you feel bad for me. Feels bad, man. Feel pretty bad right now.